me today. We are in Cape Town in the Western Cape. We're visiting a cultural heritage site called the Ball Cup. We're meeting Faldela. She runs a local tourism company called Cooking with Love. She's a local entrepreneur. She offers cooking classes. Today she invited us to her kitchen for a cooking class on authentic Malay food. So today we'll be cooking with her different kinds of food, different Malay styles and a whole lot of goodness. Okay, so let's check it out. The Bow Cup is set at the foot of the Signal Hill on the periphery of the city of Cape Town. It was formerly known as the Malay Quarter, where in the 1700s, when slaves were brought into the country from Indonesia, Malaysia, some North African countries, Java, Madagascar, all these slaves were set to rent in Bokap. Initially, all the houses in the Bokap were white and they were not allowed to be painted. Slave laws were still very much active at that time. The architecture is very Cape Dutch to Georgian style. A flat roof and slashed windows, they represent pretty much the Cape Dutch style. In the Bokap, the very first mosque was established in South Africa, established by an Indonesian who was enslaved in Robben Island, first person who wrote the Quran from memory. The Quran is the book that is used in the Muslim religion. Today, majority of the inhabitants of the Bokap actually practice the Muslim religion. Upon his release, his name is Quad Abdul Salam, or affectionately known as the Tuan Guru. He's the one who wrote the first Quran and he was also the first Imam. Just to kick off the cooking class, we are making rotis first. We start by mixing the flour, adding the salt and some baking powder. You pour in some water and mix it up. You put it down on the baking surface. You cut it into round balls, which you flatten it with your palm. And then we spread some butter on them on top not too thin just to keep it the right sort of thickness and then from there on we roll them back up to put them in the refrigerator just for the butter to cool off and harden once they're out of the fridge we roll them flat using a roller pin and then we heat up a pan on the stove where you firstly need to rub it with butter when you put it on then you slowly put the roti on the pan starting with the back or the front and then slowly just to avoid the oil from splatting on you after that once you see bubbles on the surface of the roti and then you apply more butter and then it's ready to be devoured Now we're going to move on to making some samosas. Samosas are majority in the Indian and Malay community. So we just use some stopboard sheets to fold the samosas. The fillings were already pre-prepared by Faldilla so that the process is a lot faster and quick to make. Completely over. Leave it, leave it now. There we go. You see? Mm -hmm. Now just look here. Now you got it. Mm. It is side to side. Mm -hmm. The side rests on the side. And then you got your triangle. Okay. Right? After mastering the first hurdle of forming the triangle, you put in your feelings, you fold the samosa to keep the triangle consistent, and then you use a mixture of water and flour, which Faldilla refers to as super glue, to keep it together. On, also, you need to make sure that the edges of your triangle do not have holes, otherwise oil is gonna come in through those holes and it will make your samosas very soggy.
but not least we are making a chicken fillet curry Faldela had already sauteed some onions and they're nicely caramelized we added some green bell peppers we added some garlic and ginger paste we added some chili and then we threw it on the stove to simmer for some time we added some spices cumin turmeric pepper and then we got all of those into the pan let it cook for a couple of minutes and then finally we were ready to eat okay so here i have the chicken curry that we made with the roti on the side so we've used a variety of spices including chili powder coriander cumin ginger paste a whole lot of things so now i'm trying it out the roti has a nice crunchiness and it's very soft on the inside i think it's because of the butter it is nice and soft not too dry so we're gonna check out the curry now always start with the curry juice and then you know That is amazing. No flavors overpowering the other. Everything is nicely balanced. I think the skill is knowing the measurements that you need to put in. But different people eat it different ways. Some add more because they like the strong the strength, the pungent of the spices. And then some just want to mix them to have them a nice balanced way. The rotis are very nicely seasoned. They retain the crunch even when you chew. They are very nice and soft on the inside from the butter. A beautiful, nice, soft doughiness texture, which just makes it really good on the tongue. And then coupled with the curry, just soaks up all those juices, all those flavors, the oil from the chicken. There's some potatoes in here. And this is just a plate of goodness. I'm impressed. Thank you, Faldela. My pleasure. Thank you. <laughs> so this is the chili bite. It's my first time having a chili bite. It's this beautifully deep fried ball of goodness with a whole lot of flavors made from chickpea, all purpose flour, very various spices. There's some spinach in here, which also adds nice greenery. It's very soft on the outside, almost like a fat cook, nice and consistently soft. So I'm going to check it out. It's my very first time having it. So let's see how it goes. Mmm. Mmm. This is not as nice. The flavors are all there. A nice seasoning. A bready consistency on the inside. Very soft. It melts in your tongue. It's almost like a very soft bun that is packed with flavor. Baking powder is a rising agent. Some love, which is salt. <laughs> this is brilliant. You could have it, you could even dip it in the curry. You could have it with tea. If you like some flavor with your tea, this is good. And soup, like if you make nice soup, you can go, just dip this and just have it with your soup. It'll go perfectly well. It has a very nice consistency on the inside with some air pockets that allow it to be incredibly soft, which is out of this world. That was a walk down the Malay fusion of awesome, awesome flavors. Now we're gonna tone down with some rooibos tea just to flush down the oils and just settle the stomach a bit. So here we have cool sisters. Note, I say cool sisters, not cook sisters. So there's two kinds of these um, sweet baked goods in the Malay culture. There's cook sisters, which have the intertwined shape and that are dipped in syrup. And then the syrup is infused inside and then these are cool sisters which are made with spice 
and then added some coconut it's much more different from the other ones they're not packed with uh, the syrup on the inside these ones are nicely baked there's coconut on the outside there's some syrup very light syrup and then some spices that are ground including a nasty peel it's dried it's ground and then it's added as one of those spices so we're gonna check this one out and just get how it tastes A spiciness comes from very lightly sugar not too sweet not overpowered by the sweetness it is a very beautifully fat cookie texture on the inside the coconut brings it a nice after crunch not too oily nicely constructed i think i prefer these over the other ones definitely do now we're just gonna end our day here get some nice sweetness a form of dessert just to complete what was an absolutely wonderful meal so yeah this is good Yes, I have. Are you serious? Evidence. <laughs> you want to get me in trouble <laughs> I want to send a big shout out to the fantastic, charismatic and hilarious Faldele. She is well known across the world. She's cooked for doctors, lawyers, any person you can think of. She's a local entrepreneur who runs her own tourism company. I would implore you guys to check her out. She follows all COVID-19 protocol and she's an absolute ball of energy. You enjoy spending time with her. Thank you for the amazing food that we have. Thank you for the warmth and hospitality that you gave us when we came to your home and a big shout out to you as well for watching thank you so much for joining today and if you still like this type of content please subscribe and comment let me know what you think please share this video with your friends as well and if you're still not into it well i hope the next video will make you subscribe and it will make you stay thanks so much for watching and i hope you're feeling great where you are